Hello Vinyl community, this is Randy. Back today with another video. A couple weeks ago, Vinyl Richie did a video called uh, My Top 10 Favorite Records of 1965 or something like that, Top 10 Records of 1965. And uh, he invited people to do a response to that thread, you know, if they wanted to. So uh, I thought it sounded like a cool idea, but I thought uh, there really wouldn't be much point in it because we probably had uh, quite a few duplicates on our top 10 list, but uh, then I looked at his uh, top 10 again and actually I realized I really didn't have that many of the ones that he had on his list, and so uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do my top 10 from 1965, so um, yeah, uh, before we get started, I will just mention to you a couple that didn't make the list just because I don't have them, I mean there probably be a lot of them, but I don't have them on vinyl, I have them on other formats, so Miles Davis's ESP came out in 1965. This is with his second classic quintet. Uh, fantastic album. Also, uh, The Zombies put out their first album. Uh, the first two albums in 1965. I don't have either one of those, but I think I have probably all the songs uh, from those two on this uh, four CD box set, which is really cool. It comes with this booklet on the inside. So. Anyway, those two won't be making my top 10. And then also, one last thing I wanted to mention, they didn't make my top 10, but they probably almost could have. Two of the best all-time Christmas records were recorded in 1965. The Ventures Christmas album was uh, well released in 1965. And also, uh, Charlie, Brown, Charlie Brown Christmas, the Ben Scrawley Tree album. So, a uh, couple uh, from 1965 that won't make my list. So, um, yeah, starting here with uh, number 10, I've got The Love and Spoonful. Do you believe in magic? So this album, well, all these albums came out in 1965. This is on Kama Sutra Records. I, uh, I don't know if this was a gatefold when it first came out. This is a, uh, uh, this is a Sunday's reissue from a few years ago. It has some extra information on the inside. So the uh, hit songs on this are Do You Believe in Magic, you know, fantastic song, really, uh, yeah, Do You Believe in Magic, really just an all-time great song. Um, other ones on here uh, that were hits, Did You Ever Have to Make Up Your Mind, another really cool song. Uh, they also do a, co a cover of uh, Other Side of This Life, which a lot of rock bands in the 60s did. Um, Night Owl Blues, uh, which is about the seen up there in Greenwich Village, I think, when they were first getting started, so, yeah, Love and Spoonful. That's on Kama Sutra Records. It's a cool Kama Sutra label. Uh, uh, yeah, so at first I thought I, I should uh, probably just try to stick with uh, rock and roll, but uh, I don't know if, uh, well, uh, it, it's better to go ahead and include all genres, so, uh, uh, yeah, so I included uh, jazz in this too. So my number nine for 1965 is Dialogue. This is Bobby Hutcherson's first record as a leader for Blue Note. Also features Freddie Herbert, uh, sorry, Freddie Hubbard, uh, Sam Rivers, <clears throat> Andrew Hill on piano, Richard Davis, and Joe Chambers. So it's an excellent album, instrumental jazz album. I don't know if there's really any. Uh, songs on here in particular that anybody would know. Uh, yeah, Bobby is a jazz uh, vibraphone player. That is on Blue Note, so for the standard Blue Note label there. Uh, uh, yeah, number eight, I've got Frank Sinatra. So Frank put out a, a couple albums that year. Uh, they were all good. This record has one of his all-time uh, greatest songs on it, which is um, uh, the name of the song is, uh, it was a very good year. Uh, yeah, the name of the album is September of My Years, uh, and that's a great song too, but the one that everybody knows, I think, really is It Was a Very Good Year. So, uh, uh, also, other great songs on here, uh, September Song, Last Night When We Were Young, fantastic album. This is on uh, Reprise, 
Records. Uh, number seven, I have the Rolling Stones, Out of Our Heads. This is one of those things where, uh, you know, they were releasing albums in England and in the U.S. And, um, I think that this is uh, an American record, uh, Out of Our Heads. And the, uh, the hit songs on here, well, there weren't that many uh, hits, really. This was really before they started doing, uh, having a whole lot of hits, but they were doing, like, mostly covers of uh, uh, songs by other people, like Chuck Berry's uh, Talking About You. Uh, but uh, one song on here, that the one of the first songs the Stones wrote, Heart of Stone, is on here. And then also my favorite song, my favorite Stones song, one of my all-time favorite songs, I'm Free, by Jagger and Richards, I'm Free. Free to do what I want, any old time. Seems like a good outlook on life to me. That is on Decca Records. This came from that mono box set, so, uh, yeah. Uh, I have, at uh, number six, The Kinks. The Kink Controversy. The Kinks also released a couple records in 1965. A couple hit songs on here. Till the End of the Day. I think was probably the biggest hit. And uh, I think another uh, hit on here was Where Have All the Good Times Gone. I know Van Halen did a fantastic version of Where Have All the Good Times Gone. Uh, So, uh, yeah. Also on here, Milk Cow Blues. Liner notes on the back. This is this came from that Kinks mono box set, so this label I think is uh, uh, just specific to that the records that came in that box set. At number five, I have Herbie Hancock's Maiden Voyage. I uh, I think this may have been hit. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, this was a record that came out in '65 though, with uh, Herbie as the leader, also playing on this, or uh, Freddie Hubbard, George Coleman, Ron Carter. Anthony Williams. Um, yeah, the uh, uh, the title cut, Maiden Voyage, is fantastic. The whole album is great, though. It all just flows perfectly, and uh, this is a cool record. This was a, I think it was a record store day record. It's on green vinyl. Uh, very cool. Um, number four, The Hollies. Here, here. I love the Hollies. They were a fantastic band, and I think in England they were, uh, I think they were sort of competing with the Beatles. They had a whole lot of hit singles over there, and I think their albums did pretty well. The hit song on this one, I think, is I'm Alive. Also, uh, Look Through Any Window. Uh, You Must Believe Me is another great song on this one. The Hollies, here, here. This is a Sunday's Dream issue, but they use the uh, original label from from uh, Imperial Records. So I really like that label a lot. Fantastic record. Uh, at number three, I've got the Beatles. Uh, Beatles '65. Except I can't use this one because this record came out in '64. So uh, this is one of the American versions of their records has sort of compiled some of their other songs. So this has really been always one of my favorite Beatles album covers. I really like that cover a lot, but can't use that one. So I'm going to go with the early Beatles. So this is another one that was an American. It was not released in England like this. They compiled songs from various albums. So uh, lots of hits on here. Love Me Do, Twist and Shout, Anna, Please Please Me, A Taste of Honey, yeah, the early Beatles. And, uh, yeah, that was, I think that's a song, uh, this is a reissue anyway. It's on Capitol Records, that red, orange label. And number two, I think probably one of the biggest selling albums of the 1960s, Whipped Cream and Other Delights by Herb Alpert and the Tijuana Brass. Just a fantastic album. I think this was all over the radio when it was released in the mid-60s, so A Taste of Honey 
was a big hit. Um, Whipped Cream, I think, was used on the dating game as their theme song. Uh, Lollipops and Roses, probably my favorite song on here. Just a fantastic, I would highly encourage you to sample Lollipops and Roses. So, uh, yeah, this is just absolutely a fantastic record from beginning to end. Uh, also, one of the best album covers. So, yeah, that was on AM Records, Herb's own label. And at number one for 1965, I have John Coltrane, Love Supreme. I, uh, uh, you know, for including jazz in this top ten, I, it's really hard to come up with anything that would, uh, you know, really seriously compete with this. I think for a, a long-term record. So, yeah, Love Supreme. This is a uh, this is a record that I picked up at a a, a record swap at a, a record fair a few years ago. I'm pretty sure this is a, the 1965 original. It's a mono cover. Unfortunately, it came with this stereo record in it. But I think it's also the original stereo record from 1965. They were just I guess Frankenstein together. Um, so yeah, number one, I've got Love Supreme. So. Um, yeah, that's it. Those are my uh, top 10 for uh, 1965. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think about those. It's tough coming up with just 10, but um, yeah, that was it. So, uh, let me know what you think about those 10, and hope everybody's doing well. Thanks very much for watching.